So here's the deal about sin. You don't have to go looking for it. It will find you. And, and the enemy is creative in finding different ways to connect people to enticements and temptations. But sin will come looking for you. And we see this in this part, portion of Proverbs chapter 7 that we're going to look at today. Uh, th this young guy has been wandering. Uh, he's hanging around with the wrong people. He's wandering in the wrong places at the wrong time. And we pick up what happens next. Verse 10 of Proverbs 7. Then out came a woman to meet him, dressed like a prostitute and with crafty intent. This is a picture, a personification of sin and enticement and luring into sexual sin particularly, but really any kind of sin. It says she's unruly, she's defiant, her feet never stay at home, now in the streets, now in the squares, at every corner she lurks. She took hold of him and kissed him, and with a brazen face she said, Today I fulfilled my vows. I have food and for my fellowship offering at home. So I came to meet you, I looked for you, and I found you. Do you get the picture? He's wandering in the wrong place. He's done his part to put himself in that place, but she then comes looking for him. Him, Sin looks for us, it finds us. So just a couple insights from this passage. Sin is hunting us down. Be careful, be aware, and know the kind of sins you tend to fall into, because the enemy knows the kind of sins you tend to fall into. Sin dresses up to look pretty. This personification of sin, it's not about a woman tempting a man. It's about sin tempting any person. But the sin is dressed up and looking good, and sin will look good even though it's poison. It's the proverbial poisonous apple. Looks good on the outside, deadly on the inside. The sin sneaks up, it lurks. And so, and this is not about being paranoid every moment of every day. Where's, where is sin? Is it around the, any corner? It's just living with an awareness that we have a tendency to be drawn towards sin, and the enemy is always active in trying to entice us. So be ready. Sin makes the first move. He's in the wrong place at the wrong time, but sin grabs him and kisses him on the face. Sin comes after us. Be aware of that. Be prepared for it. Be ready to fight back. And then sin speaks out. Sin says, hey, come on in. The water's good. It's going to be wonderful. We won't get caught. That comes more later in the passage. But for our purposes today, to realize that we don't have to go hunting for sin, it will come looking for us. So here's what I want to encourage you to do. To just pause for a minute and think, where do I tend to be tempted? And what ways do I tend to be drawn into sin and fall? You know better than anyone except for Satan and God. You know where you're tempted. And here's the challenge. Be prepared. Be ready to stand against those temptations. If you struggle with addiction to alcohol, if you struggle with taking one drink and you can't stop yourself, then catch yourself before you start. If you, str if you struggle with an addiction to pornography, then don't start watching things that are tame and okay, but they're dancing on the edges because you know, boom, 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 like dominoes, they start falling and all of a sudden you find yourself in a place you don't want to be. If, you're, if your challenge is an explosive anger, when you feel the veins kind of picking up in your neck, when you feel the heat starting to grow, you say, okay, I got to stop now because if I don't, I, I know where this is going and I'm going to lose it. I'm going to say things to my kids or to my wife or to my neighbor or to my boss that I'm going to regret. Understand that it's a battle, but in the power of Jesus Christ, you can stand strong. We're not slaves to sin anymore for followers of Jesus, but sin, sin still comes knocking on the door. Be ready to stand against it. God, this is our prayer that we would know you and your freedom and your truth, that we would thank you, Jesus, for conquering sin and death and hell and the enemy. But that we would also humbly acknowledge that we still feel that enticement. Help us recognize when sin is starting to creep in and help us to cut that off before we go down the road that breaks your heart and our hearts and our lives. Give us power to stand strong against the temptations of the enemy, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God's blessings on you. Have a great day. If you're part of Shoreline Church, we gather for worship at 9 and 11. Hopefully we'll see you this Sunday on campus or online. If you're part of another church, be part of the family of God. Go greet somebody, meet somebody new when you go. Listen to the message. Join in the prayers. Worship from your heart and be part of the family of God. God's blessings. Have a great rest of your week.